Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is a little Hershey Nugget box. Now, I made this box originally back in 2015, I think it was. And inside, six Hershey Nuggets prettily wrapped. Now, as you know, I acquired a bunch of Hershey Nuggets from the incentive trip. We can't get them that easily here in the UK. You can get them, you're gonna pay a premium. Um, obviously very easily available to my overseas friends who can get them at any store not sure that you want to it's not my favorite chocolate I'm sorry give me Cadbury's dairy milk any day right so I have got I see I work off my telephone this is my original one can you see that everything's probably glaring so this is from back in 2015 look at that all of them wrapped Floral paper I kept to a theme. I'm going to change it very slightly. So, oh, yes, there we go, March the 4th, 2015. So, I'm going to follow my own measurements. I have cut nothing and I'm going to do it now. So, let me read out the sizes. Um, it's three, three inches by two and five eighths of an inch by three quarters of an inch. So, in metric, seven and a half by seven by two centimeters. That's the sizing of it. Right, so what do I need? I need a piece of cardstock. Oh, I do remember. You can make two of these from one box. One piece of cardstock. So, seven and three quarters of an inch. We'll cut that length first. Which is 20 centimetres. By four and a half inches, which is 11 and a half centimetres. So you've got plenty to make your second. This is pear pizzazz. And then I want for my DSP panel on the front, I want two and three quarters by two and a half. So I'm going to take my two and a half first. And again in metric, that is seven by six and a half. Okay, and then I want three inch panels that are one inch wide. So I'm going to trim this part. Um, in metric, that's the nug for the nuggets that is that's one by three inches two and a half by seven and a half centimeters so i'm going to take this to two inches i'm going to take this one to six so i've got two by six i'm going to trim it down again one inch three inches i think i have to do them one at a time there's my first two one of each side Okay, and hopefully I should, yes, I can just do it. I need to trim that down to three and cut those again. And there's my six, so two, four, six off that one panel that I cut to get the lid and I've still got all of this left over. So there you go. I, there was a deep-rooted reason why I did that. Okay, all phone screen don't go off. I need to follow the instructions. <laughs> okay, right. So on the long side, score it at three quarters of an inch. Oh, I've got the wrong end on. Everything will be written on my blog again, so don't worry about writing it down. So three quarters of an inch, <clears throat> an inch, three and a half four and a quarter and seven inches which in metric is two nine eleven and eighteen on the short side score is at three quarters of an inch and three and three quarters of an inch and again in metric two and nine and a half okay let me switch those out of the way so yeah pear pizzazz <clears throat> and frosted florals the designer series paper which I just love this one was the uh, rooted in nature is it called nature's root the DSP or rooted in nature I don't remember but that's the sweet um, but I wanted to show you what it looks like with different different papers and different color cardstocks so I've got it this way around you can see I've got six little squares and I'm going to cut into each of those. Is that slightly out of focus or is it my glasses? No, it seems to be in focus. So I'm just going to wedge very slightly. When I've done it, I will show you the finished result. Okay. 
And like I said, although this box has been specifically designed for the nuggets, you could fit other stuff in here. Nice, you know, little piece of jewellery. Um, just, you know, regular sweeties that you can get from where you live. Little, if they don't fit perfectly, a little bit of tissue paper, some sweets nestled inside. Perfect little gift. I'd be very happy with that. Keep going. You've got the last one and then I will hover it and show you so you can see what it looks like when it's trimmed. Okay, so you can see that I've wedged out all of those little pieces. Now, one of these panels, this panel rather, needs to go on either the top or the bottom. It's very slightly rectangular. It's up to you which side you go for. I'm going to put in a little, I've just grabbed a handheld punch, uh, sorry, a circle punch, and I want to just cut in a little wedge there, just so it makes it easier to open the box. So that is now going to be my lid. Let's grab my snail. on top and then I would suggest you use tear and tape because you can buy it. I'm going to use fast fuse for speed. Thank you to the ladies. A couple of ladies put their refills in the post to me. I I love fast fuse. I understand that not everybody has and I guess that's why they had the spares. Thank you very much. I now have a few. So folding that round to make the lid. Okay, and then we're going to fold up and make the bottom. Okay, so there's the box. So I'm going to wrap my nuggets <clears throat> and I'm going to have alternating. So I'm going to have three with a <laughs> up. Three with the flowers and three without. And just a little bit of snail on the end of each is enough. So there's the first. And I've just about, although, I mean, I wish I didn't have these two. Unfortunately, I do. That's all that's left. My small, small boys discovered the chocolates. They seem to like them. Maybe they um, just like any kind of chocolate and were happy. <laughs> not my taste, unfortunately. Sorry, America. Hershey nuggets are not my favourite. I wonder what it would taste like in hot chocolate though. I do wonder, it might be really nice. I didn't do that one quite tight enough. Um, yeah, I wonder what it would be like in a hot chocolate. But we are spoiled by Nestle and dairy milk, or Cadbury I should say. I do like the Hershey cookies and cream bar actually. We also have Hotel Chocolat, which I've talked about before, made here in Cambridgeshire where I live. The best chocolate in the world. There we go. A little cute. That's, yeah, that one's not tight enough, but I don't think I can do anything about that now. Make that a bit tighter. Good job I used snail, not fuse. That's better. My original ones, I put little flowers. We had a, a tiny little punch out flower and I put that on that one, but I'm not going to on this one. Right, matching pear pizzazz ribbon. This is lovely, it's sort of shimmery. Get a little bow tied off on there. I'm getting better at bows, although I have a funny feeling this is gonna end up upside down or Oh no, not too bad. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a pretty bow. 
Okay, and then I'm going to do a tiny little bit of stamping. So I'm just going to grab a scrap of Whisper Wire. So this is a scrap, it's a huge bit. And I want to get one of these flowers. So we've got big ones and small ones. And I'm not going to do the baby wipe, baby, wipe, baby wipe technique that I showed you the other day, but I'm going to grab... Oh, just elbow the tripod. Well, it's not showing, but we've got blues in here. There is a bit of a blue there. Um, I'm going to go with Bermuda Bay and see what it looks like. Might work really well, might not. And... That's okay. I'm okay with that. And then I need to get the framelits out. Oh, I forgot what they're called. Are they called frosted floral framelits? Hmm. I was prepped. Had everything here apart from the framelits. So um, this is the sweet. What are they called? Frosted bouquet. Okay. So I keep all of my framelits in fridge bins. So these are the plastic tubs that you'd keep in your fridge and obviously we have some framelits that are wider than others and it fits perfectly. And then I have them in alphabetical order. Frosted bouquet, there it is. So let me shut that back. And then get my magnetic platform. First plate down. Don't want to obviously chop all of that through. That's on there. I believe that is the framelit for it. The magnetic platform is going to hold it in place. I was so pleased when Stampin' Up! brought this out. No more washi tape! Cutting plates on the top. I'm going to run this through the big shop. Which is permanently. I do have a permanent end to my desk. And it sits there all the time. And I'm using my, I'm using my framelits far more than I ever did. Um, before I got into this office that I'm in now. Um, really didn't ever use it. But now, all the time. Okay, I want to get some shape to that, but I don't think it's going to work, so I'm just going to pop a dimensional. As you can see, I've got, I've got three of our pop of petals flowers with the four petal punch, and I've elevated them, but I think this will be okay. I don't think it needs to be an exact representation. I think it's rather charming just as it is. I hope you like it too. So two different looks, same box, two different looks, and by all means, go back and have a look in the beginning of March 2015. You can see the two variations there as well, um, but a really nice little gift and dirt cheap. Free if you pinch the chocolates from the incentive trip. I didn't pinch them. I could have eaten them then and there. I didn't. I brought them back to show you. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.